Hey guys, welcome back here today, and I am making another video where I am making a Maverick setup and a Maverick box. I have the Shakespeare Catch More Fish series spinning rod. Um, please focus. I'm just going to read you the specs. It is a 2 meter 6'6 six, six rod. A uh, medium action rod, 6 to 12 pound line. I am going to be using 6 or 10, so. Uh, I'm going to flip this around. And, yeah, nice little rod. Here is a little, hold on. Here is a little view of the rod tip. Of the action. So, good little run. I have to keep checking the time to see how long it's going to last. And, so, I have two reels to choose from. This is just a little Shakespeare with six pound line on it. Or, I have the Matsu. Oh, I like this reel. I love this reel. Great reel. It's bigger, and it has a bit heavier one, and I, I really think that this heavier one's really going to help me out, because we have a lot of snags, and I like to save as many baits as possible, so, yeah, um, cool this. I have a drag set extremely wide on this reel, but if you like the other reel better and you want and want me to use the other reel, comment on this video and tell me. But honestly, this is one of my favorite reels. Great top water, great bluegill reel. Got some got some huge bluegill on this. A head sized bluegill, but I think I'm gonna choose this reel. You think differently, tell me in the comments because I'm pretty sure my comments are turned on. on most of my videos. My comments are turned on. So I'm just gonna go ahead, hit this for you guys, check the video. Um, let's see, can I pause the video? Hold on, I gotta pause the video for a second. Okay, guys, I have unpaused the video, so I have the choice between a 16 pound. Sorry if it ain't focusing. I can't see if it's focused or not. But a little 16th ounce. Or an 8th ounce. I prefer the 8th ounce. So I'm going to tie that on. Because it's a bit heavier. And if I'm ever in a situation where I need a lighter one. To help me get over the rocks and stuff, and so down in the cover like I need to be for these fish around here. And then, and I need to go around the cover because it's really snaggy. And I need to be able to pop it up and over cover. Then I'll swap over to the 16th ounce. But. And on this rod, I might as well just show you the one that I'm using. It is 10 pound monofilament. I know, I know. Boro's better, but mono's cheaper. But I got this spool from uh, Academy H2O Express. Um, 
1,400 yards, 10 pound test, monofilament, green, like this weird green to help it blend in with the water batter, H2 Express, um, it was like, what, $6 for 1,400 yards compared to 100 yards for $2? I think that's a pretty good deal. So, um, now let's get to the box building portion of this video. So, I have just a little Ozark Trail tackle box. And I'm just going to, right here, that's where I'm going to put all my hooks. Right there. And, and our area of Tennessee finesse baits work better. So I have some small little swim baits. They go in there. These odd little crawl, like a uh, little three inch trench hook. Some biospawn exopods. I got these in this month's mystery tack box. They're a uh, watermelon top and uh, they're a watermelon top and a midnight blue bottom. What I'm pretty sure is a midnight blue bottom. Fire a little color. And it looks sort of like a crawl other than the midnight blue bottom. But around here, midnight blue. I've never really done any bass, not bass fishing, but my cousin tells me that the midnight blue works best for night bass fishing. So just flip it over and it's good for night bass fishing. And then have it like this. Upside down like this, the midnight blue for night fishing, and the watermelon for daytime fishing. Okay, got those in the tackle box. Next lure that's going in here is a Z Man Big TDR and Drew's Crawl 4 inch. Made for Ned Rig, but when I got these in a mystery tackle box, they came with, they had, they, they came with shaky heads. So I did have, so I was fishing them on shaky heads, but, I'm going to throw the little X, the Exopod, yeah, 3.5 inch Exopod. Pretty small little finesse bait. Cook it with the watermelon.